our church, well, we just want to see more people come to believe in Jesus. And so we try to create a welcoming environment for that. Yeah, yeah awesome. Oh, look, somebody's new in the church. Hi. I've never seen her here before. And you look what she's wearing. Oh, my gosh. In the mm. God's house. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to have to go talk to the pastor about that. Yeah, I think so. Obviously, as the church, we have the privilege of leading people to worship God. And there is nothing more exciting than leading people to the throne of God to worship. Of course, a big part of our services is the sermon, and um, I don't want to make it seem like I'm the man, but I'm kind of the man. But I do a lot of uh, studying and preparation because I want to bring... God's word right to the people. And I want the people to be cut to the heart by the double edged sword of God's word. He brought me into the inner court through the south gate, and he measured the south gate. It had the same measurements as the others. Its alcoves, its projecting walls, and its portico had the same measurements as the others. The gateway and its portico had openings all around. It was 50 cubits long and 25 cubits wide. I want to talk to you today about that word, cubits. What is a cubit? And how long is 50 cubits long? So I guess more than anything else, the church is family. Okay, we need to talk with you because when we were arriving, we saw this girl and she was using this horrible dress and she was um, dressed so inappropriate for church, you know? So it's not we want to gossip or something, but that's really bad. Yeah, it's very inappropriate. We should pray for her. Well, I think it may just be time that we ask her to leave. Yeah. Yeah. We can't have that here. No. God brings people together, and together we become God's family, as long as you belong. 